Boris Johnson's popularity has dipped in recent days in the wake of the Owen Patterson scandal, which saw support for the Conservative Party slump significantly, but what do the latest polls reveal, and how could it affect the next general election? The Conservatives have been embroiled in the ongoing sleaze row for more than two weeks, since Prime Minister Boris Johnson whipped MPs into voting for a motion which would see Mr. Patterson avoid a recommended 30-day suspension. The government was forced to U-turn its decision to delay a vote on the MP's fate in the face of furious express.co.uk analyzes the latest polls to reveal if the PM is still fighting against losses, or has he managed to right the ship. The Conservatives received a boost in the latest polls after the Slee scandal saw support for the party slump, in the Westminster voting intention poll from YouGov slash The Times. The latest poll, conducted from November 17 to 18, from YouGov found support for the Tories was at 36 percent, up one percentage point from the previous poll conducted from November 10 to 11. Labour was in second place at 34 percent, having lost one percentage. The Green Party retained the same level of support at 10 percent, while the Liberal Democrats lost one percentage point to attain 7 percent. The Reform Party had 5 percent support which is up by one percentage point from the previous poll. When asked which party the 1,800 adults would back if a general election were held tomorrow, 24 percent said the Tories, up two percentage points from the previous poll. Labour would be supported by 23 percent of voters, while 17 percent said they did not know. The Labour leader maintains the PM has damaged the state of, he told BBC Radio 4's Today programme, the Prime Minister has dragged Parliament into the gutter. Circuit added, you can see the anger on his own side. He forced his MPs to do something they knew was wrong, he then got a backlash because he shouldn't have done it. I think we need to change the rules as we go forward and be absolutely clear that the default position going forward is no second jobs for MPs with those limited exceptions where there's a public service element. Mr Johnson tightened rules on second jobs earlier this week. MPs voted through the PM's proposal.